Okay, so this is how uh, we do alibons. There's a, a few different ways to do it, and some people struggle with it, and some people don't. But uh, I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. And uh, you'll need a brand new snap blade and a laminating iron or sealing iron. Um, I always keep a paper towel soaked with uh, uh, denatured alcohol on it just to keep my iron clean and you'll need a scrap of laminate. And this is uh, 3 mil. I typically use 3 mil on, lam on uh, uh, ailerons, elevons, just because it's light. So, uh, and these are on the back of the plane. You want them to be tough, but they don't have to be like the rest of the plane. So, all right. So the first thing that I do um, is I lay the lamb on top of the elevon with a little bit sticking over all the way around, and then I, yeah, four-ish, whatever. Uh, it seems like most of these are different, so whichever works for you. Um, Temperature-wise, test it first, but I just kind of push down on the center part first just to get it to bite, and then now I'm just going to work my way out from there. And that's pretty common. That's the way I think everybody does it. I don't know if there's any other way you could do it, but... So, now that that's done, I'm going to flip it over. And this is, this is sort of the important part here. I don't, want, I don't want to stick the blade out real far because I'm going to use this as a guide. So I'm going to put the, the plastic part of the blade up against the bottom of the, the aileron or elevon, whatever it is that I'm cutting. And I'm going to use that for my space. So you kind of have to hold it up high and just follow the edge of the elevon. And this one has some curves to it. This is from my Wombat. Um, so this is a good one to show. I'm just going to let the body of the blade sort of uh, get my spacing right for me. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so that's going to that's going to give me just a little bit of overhang uh, off the side off the elevon. Okay, so it's see it's a little bit past where you can see that. Okay, so the front's done. Now I need to do um, wrap around here. So the the thing about elevons is that you always want to keep them on a flat surface because people will all the time um, they talk about warping their elevons and stuff like that. So leave it on the flat surface and just kind of go across this edge here, watching out for your fingers. There's no chance I'm going to warp this because I've got it on a flat surface. And I'm just kind of starting this, um, this wrapping motion here and trying not to burn myself. Uh, but I probably will. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to come over to the edge of my table and I'm going to wrap it some more. I'm just going to go on the, from the middle out and the middle out. I've never, never taken this, this elbow off that flat surface and I don't intend to. So now I've got a good wrap started and I'm not trying to pull this tight or anything because it seems like if you pull it, if you try to pull this tight, you're going to introduce wrinkles. You just want to kind of get it, you know, uh, snug around there. And again, start from the middle and work your way out. Okay, middle, work your way out. Okay, so now this Elevon is. I've, sit, I've sanded it round across here because I wanted uh, a nice transition, so I've got to kind of uh, roll it over the edge just like I did before. So I'm going to do that, starting from the center and working out. I'm just rolling it around. Okay, so now I've got my top done, 
my, my front edge is done now just the bottom and I don't have any seams yet okay so now that I've got the bottom ready I'm not gonna sit here and pull this because all I'm gonna do if I do that is introduce wrinkles I'm gonna take the the iron and I'm gonna go from the center and I'm gonna roll it and push it down okay now that that's done roll it push it down and just work my way to the edge roll it over the edge and push it down roll it over the edge push it down okay so now I've got nice nice bond going on here and zero wrinkles okay all right so now I've got uh, I've got the front done and the back done top okay and now all I need to do is the sides and I've got an overhang on the bottom edge and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take take this lamb iron and starting from the center I'm gonna push up against the edge and down and so now what I'm doing is I'm creating a lamb on lamb seal and nothing sticks to laminate better than itself I'm gonna do it on this on the edge over here too I'm just gonna do it a couple times because if I try to do it all in one fail swoop it'll probably wrinkle okay so now I've got that done I'm just gonna go out this way and then when I get to this edge I'm gonna do the same thing push down and in towards the elevon and now since I'm working on a wood surface it's probably gonna stick but that's okay okay so now I've got that now I'm gonna go back with that same blade the same way I did before using the plastic body of the blade as a spacer and I'm gonna follow the edge Now if I want to, I can take some scissors or something and clean that up even more if I want to. Um, but that lamb on lamb seal is nice sharp edge and I really like that. So, um, you know, if you want, you can come in here and clean it up even more. Like right there is a little bit long. So I can do that. But there you go. That's an easy yellow bond. Uh, easy aileron whatever you can go back over it if you want to um, to uh, make sure that everything stuck down real nice I think I think Heather trims hers like right to the very edge but that that laminate on laminate seal is what's what's never going to come apart I mean you it, it's it's it holds up better than any other technique that I've ever seen and as you can see there's no wrinkles or anything like that so that's it